Hi everyone, this is Ben. In the previous video, we learned how to create simple routes in Vue.js. In this video, let's see how to create dynamic routes. First, create a Vue app using Vite. Open a terminal and run npm create Vite at latest. All right. Select view and I select JavaScript. But you can also create your view app using TypeScript if you want. Go to the project folder and run npm install. Open it in VS Code. Okay, here is our app source code. Let's run it. Open a terminal and run npm run dev. All right. It's a simple view app. Now let's create some dynamic routes and navigation here. Okay. Here is the app.view, the main app file. But first, we need to go to main.js and here create a router and add it to our app. First, we need to install view router. Open a terminal, run npm install view router. Okay. Import it. Import, create router from view router, and here create roots. Const router, create router, give it an object, and define roots array. Each root is an object that contains a path, for example, roots. And here we need a component for it. Let's create it. Roots.view All right. Okay, save it, back to the main.js, import it, and use it here. And here we need history. Create web we can choose between web hash history or web history i choose web history it's imported here now add the router to our app dot use and put this here all right our component and root are ready let's use them Go to the app.view and let me remove the default codes. Here, create a router link to the foods. And the router view. All right, let's check it. All right, it works. And here is the path, but I want to make it dynamic. For example, 
Here I want a dynamic ID. It can be any string. And use it here in the component. Okay. Let's define another root. Roots slash colon ID. The ID is the dynamic value and define component. Okay, let's use this ID. Go to the boots component and here in the template, double curly braces dollar root dot params dot ID. All right. Hit the enter. Here it is. I can enter any string. All right. Here we have the ID. But we can choose any name for it. For example, boot. All right, and also we can change this slash. I change it to a dash. And, okay. And also we can have multiple parameters. For example, I add size, a dash and colon size boot dash size and here add the size All right. Okay, here we can enter any string, but here we only need numbers for the size. Here we need a root that only allows numbers for the size. The good news is we can use regex for parameters. Just place parentheses right after the parameter and write the regex inside it. Numbers, and a plus sign for one or more occurrences. Now only numbers are allowed for the size. As you can see, here the boot component not loaded. But if I enter numbers for the size, it will load. And if I enter letters, will not load. All right, let's use regex for the boot parameter. Here, Right after food, parentheses, letters, and a plus sign. Okay. Foods, a dash, letters for food title, a dash, and numbers for size. Okay. And if I enter numbers for the food, as you can see, the food component will not load. And. All right. Okay. Now let's see how to use parameters here in the script. First, we need to import use root from view router. Create a const root of use root. And if I console log root dot params
and here in DevTools, Console, refresh the page. As you can see, here are our parameters, food and size. All right. And if here I create a router link to foods, pizza, size 20, and another two, burger, 30, Okay. All right. This is for the first load. And if I click on these links, you can see that here it works. But here in the logs, we have nothing. To fix that, we need to use watch. Import watch from view and use it watch an arrow function root dot prams dot food and put the result in pram and console like it Okay, now we can access the parameters when clicking on the links. And this is for the first load. And we can also access multiple parameters. Just here, create an array. And define any parameter you want. All right. You can find more about dynamic routing here in the documents. You can see more detailed examples here. You can see and play with this project on my stack blitz. All right. And the link to the stack blitz is in the caption. In the next video, we'll explore nested routes in Vue.js. You can watch it right here by clicking on it.